смотри. Работает. Довольно? Все, ложись. Si tienes hermanos menores o hijos pequeños, deberás protegerlos aún más, ya que las entidades fantasmales suelen apropiarse más fácilmente de los menores. Esta pequeña desde entonces ya no duerme sola en su habitación y los familiares están buscando la ayuda necesaria para deshacerse de esta entidad lo más pronto posible. On another day, one of the home security cameras set up in the child's bedroom detects motion when the cat enters the room. But it seems the cat is attracted to something else, something strange. And what the camera captures is undeniably chilling. The doors to the little closet room seem to open all on their own, just as the cat approaches, as if it were lured there by some unseen force. The lights then turn off and immediately start flickering the moment the cat enters the room. Eventually the second door slams open by itself, and a creepy voice aggressively whispers, get out. In the following video, a man named Jay is resting in his living room when he notices something strange about a doll that's placed on a high shelf. He takes a closer look at this doll and is left deeply disturbed by what he captures. Now the doll in this video, according to Jay, was bought at a thrift store where two other dolls of the same brand were also being sold. But, for some unknown reason, this specific doll was hidden from the rest. Jay suspects that the reason the doll was hidden from sight was because they didn't want anyone buying it. They were afraid this doll might be cursed or even haunted. Now Jay wasn't really sure if this had been the actual reason, but after living with this doll for more than a year, it's become clear to him that this may have been the case. Something isn't right with this doll. While resting in his living room and watching over his child, Jay captures something on camera that leaves him extremely unnerved. Take a look.
I think, I think I can see it on here. Hold on. Not stop. Oh, wait, there it is. See if she moves. There it is. He went to visit a witch's gravesite when he sees this. Brian from Franco TV was contacted by a night guard that works at the Cementerio Presbiterio Maestro in Lima, Peru, after seeing a figure walking through the cemetery after hours. As Frank explores the cemetery, he begins to hear someone crying, then sees this. I'm gonna switch over to night vision. A weeping woman in a dark cloak can be seen kneeling down. She's just crying in like a little ball area. And it sounds like a woman. But that's literally right in Georgina's tomb. What the hell? But as Frank gets closer, this happens. Wait, I'm gonna say something. Está bien? What the f Holy sh As Frank asks if everything's okay, this cloaked woman crawls up the wall. Stunned by what just happened, he finds the grave where this person was is of a famous witch's grave by the name Gregoria Camacho, who is often visited by many of her loyal followers. So could this really be video evidence of an individual utilizing witchcraft, or is it something else? Guys, uh, this is just a quick update because I gotta get to work. Uh, but when I got up this morning to get my coffee, I uh, walked into the kitchen and saw this. So I guess you guys were right that uh, activity seems to be picking up because I have been, you know, doing renovations. I replaced all this stuff this uh, dishwasher, this stove, the oven hood there. Uh, but this morning when I came into the kitchen, I noticed the cabinet was open. And then I noticed this chair. Uh, so I checked the ring video and it definitely... They were exploring an abandoned campsite when they hear this. An urban explorer from Belgium by the name Sias went to explore an abandoned campsite with three of his friends when they noticed this handmade sign that states the area ahead is for worshippers only. After checking to see if anyone's there, they make their way back home to avoid any trouble. But as they do, this happens. Das ist ein Auto oder so, oder? Hallo? 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 What the fuck? What the fuck? Someone can be heard screaming within the woods as a tall woman runs at them with a hatchet. Hey! After running away and hiding in the trees, he calls the police. As police arrive, Sias makes his way over to them when this happens. Yeah. 
Daar is die, daar is die. Daar is die, daar is die. Jij ook blijven. Ja, dat is eraf gedaan. Ja, die is er vanaf geknokken. The woman is found detained, only to be let go with a warning. Now, just like the previous video, this one involves a family celebrating someone's birthday. Happy birthday, dear Ben! Like any birthday celebration, a candlelit cake is placed before the honored guest. 
but there's something about this video that sets it apart from any other festive moment caught on camera. While friends and family sing happy birthday, this happens. Happy birthday, dear Ben. Happy birthday to you. What? Go! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ben. Happy birthday. Oh, to you. Just like viewers, Ben, the birthday boy, is caught off guard upon seeing smoke rise from his cake. It wasn't until looking down that he realized his candles had been blown out. He didn't blow them, and neither did anyone else, according to the party. Yet if no one blew out the cake, then what did? This video becomes even stranger when looking at the footage taken from a different perspective. From this angle, we have a closer look at the candles, but it's the way in which they're supposedly blown that makes this incident baffling. They appear to go out as though someone or something had been right in front of the cake, yet the only person who's closest to it is Ben, who clearly doesn't do anything. It isn't certain as to what exactly happened that day, but if viewers had a guess, they would assume something unexplainable had taken place.